Hi guys, Dan the Mountain Man here. And today, we are at Carl Sandberg's home in Flat Rock, North Carolina. This is a National Historic Site. Um, so, uh, we're gonna go check this place out. Uh, walk around the house. We're not gonna take a tour of the house, but then we're gonna go to the barn and see some goats. All right, well, will you join me here? Okay, we're at the uh, welcoming center down at the bottom of the hill here. We first get in. If for those of you who don't know, Carl Sandburg was a uh, poet, and he was from um, from uh, Chicago, in the Midwest. And he moved down here to uh, in his um, retirement years to write and enjoy the beautiful um, life it is here in West North Carolina. So uh, this is the Welcome Center. There's a little bit of history on him. And uh, also has some bathrooms down here. So a little display. And, and some of the hiking trails. And then of course there's this beautiful lake. And you see the house up there on the hill. So let's go on up the hill here. Well, I'm up about halfway up the hill. Got up to the entrance drive. And in behind me, looks like they're getting ready for their 50th year anniversary here at the Carl Sandberg home for being a National Historic Site. In October of 1968, about a year after Mr. Sandberg died, they made this a National Historic Site. And uh, so it looks like they got a special amphitheater for that celebration. And if you look up here, this is the uh, historic road. It came from the entrance that uh, they used when they entered in here. So this little pathway, you know, this uh, pathway, when you first come down, it's pretty steep for the first little bit, but it's doable. And uh, they got, you can call in for a, a shuttle if you are handicapped and aren't able to make it up a hill too good. And so I'm going to continue walking up the hill, you know, and I'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, we're up at the house now. You can see it behind me, and just want you to take a look at this view. Just look at that. How would you like to have that view from the front porch of your house? And there's some little pond here in the front, right there. And this is the house. Now you can take a tour of the house. It's five dollars for adults. Uh, I think it's three dollars for seniors and maybe children. So. And uh, we're not going to make a uh, tour of it. There was a gift shop down in the basement. And also they did uh, some take care of uh, some goats down in the basement when the Sandbergs were here. I go around to the side of the house here. And uh, I'll show you a little something maybe they changed, moved it. It's been a while since I've been up here. Looks like they took it out. Yep. Well, they took the amphitheater out. But they moved it down to the bottom of the hill. Now they used to have an amphitheater back here. They took it out. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go up here on the other side here. Well, I'm on a little rock outcropping in behind the house. Look what I found. That's a little chair. Uh, I could just imagine sitting back here doing some writing or just sitting here and relaxing and contemplating on things and uh was, carl sandberg was known to go walking around here especially at night just thinking about stuff coming up with ideas for writing so all right now the next thing we're gonna do i'm gonna make my way over to the uh barn and see some goats so, uh, and uh, some other things over that way. So I'll see you when I get over there. 
Okay, now we are at the goat barn. Uh, Mrs. Sandberg uh, raced champion goats and won several awards for uh, milking. Or broke several records for milking goats and made some cheese and stuff like that. So here's the barn and off to the side is the garage. Well, let's go take a look inside the garage and check it out. And uh, so let's see what we got in here. We got a tractor and a jeep in here. So and, now this jeep here is the only vehicle that was in Carl Sandberg's name and it is a Willis. So it was one of the good Jeeps, not the junk that they make today. And there's the tractor and some other equipment. So, all right. Now let's go check out the barn here. Okay, we are with the goats here. If I can get one of them in the camera shot. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. A little touchy today. They don't seem like they don't want to be petted or anything. So, <laughs> usually they like to be petted when I come here. Well, yeah. well it's a nice thing. I think this is the furthest I've ever seen them down in all the years I've come in now. They're usually up closer to the barn when I come. And then up here behind the milking house. We'll come back. Yeah, up here's the milking house. We're going to go up and check it out. So and I can get back here. But well, it doesn't look like I can get in that way. But there's the milk. A little gray building up here is the milking house. So, here's the goats up here. So, all right, let's, uh, I'm gonna go enjoy the goats for a little bit here. <laughs> okay, off to the side of the barn is a, um, the entrance into the milking exhibit. So, you can just go to this gate here. Uh, you'll see the little roosters over here too. Um, so let's just go around the other side and see what, take a look at that. And as I told you while I was over with the goats, this building here is the milking house, which Mrs. Sandberg had built in 1948. So, we'll take a look in here. Cooler. Here's the exit. Yeah. Well, it's a short but nice one. And if you look in the back side of the barn here, you can see where they milk the goats. They got the door closed today. Look through the window. Yeah, that's where they milk the goats. So, uh, let's look at a lovely view though. Ain't that beautiful? It's one of the reasons I love more living in Western North Carolina. Well, I'm gonna go. Uh, we're gonna check out a couple other things before I go. Hi. Right. Now we're across from the barn. We're across the road from the barn where they keep the uh, uh, male goats. And they got three of them out here right now. There's one right there. There's two kind of chilling right over Yeah. There's two chilling right there. So, really nice. Yeah, there's a little garden that uh, they have here in the summertime. Just take a look at this scarecrow, though. Kind of spooky. Hopefully you saw it. 
And we're at a little reservoir. And uh, off to see you so you can see it. Here's the barn all the way down there in the background. And here's the little reservoir. A little tree down over here. Um, that was pretty neat. Looks like they got some cleanup to do. They had a couple of snowstorms this uh, uh, winter, so they'll have it all cleaned up shortly, I imagine. Well, oh yeah. might just go ahead and call it a day here and head on over. So, well, hope you guys enjoyed the adventure. I'm going to head back down to the car, and I'll see you guys again on the next video.